Here is how to use Mina to find your winning product. Hey everyone and welcome, I hope you're all doing great, and before you comment on it, you can actually pronounce it either Mina or Minia, it just depends on how you want to say it. I will just stick with Mina for the sake of this video. So in this video, I'll be walking you through the steps that you would take to use Mina to find winning products, that is going to be for the free trial, because uh, if we just jump into it, it's going to be a paid uh, service it's not going to be completely for free it does give you a free trial which is going to give you access to if you see the um, top dashboard here is going to give you 100 cre credits and it's going to give you only the option to use the ads here uh, so the rest like shops products uh, and so on is going to be behind the paywall and you could actually go ahead and after use using the free trial uh, sign up to subscribe to the uh, other plans uh, but let me just go ahead and first mention the plans that are available and uh, what they can do for you there are going to be three plans here starter premium and business and you can see what they can give you so the credits and I'm not going to go over how you can use the credits because there's uh, a whole section in in mine that you can go check out on how to use the credits and how much credits are used for each specific task but you can go ahead feel free to check out this website here and go to the pricing and compare everything yourself and see which one suits you best uh, but let's actually just jump into it and try the free trial and see how much we can use to find the winning product and what we can do uh, to actually compensate without paying so uh, let's just go ahead and close out of this so here is going to be the dashboard for mina obviously you can register uh, and create an account for free uh, and we can just go ahead and go to shops uh, not shops i mean ads or let's actually go to the dashboard first within the dashboard you're going to find the top 10 products of the day which is very uh, good like considering it's for free is going to give you an idea uh, on the products that are very very popular for this specific uh, day and let's just you just hope that it is going to be a part of your niche and it's not something that is you know not something that you're looking for but usually it's going to be a good idea for you to go to the dashboard first and check out the top 10 uh winning products then what you can do is go to ads here is going to be where you will be doing all the work uh to actually find the product that you want and see how people are doing and how popular uh, that specific product is. So uh, it's going to be based on ads. You are not going to ser be searching for products. That is go going to be from here. And like we said, it's not going to be uh, for free. Uh, but we can search for ads and see how much, uh, like how good they are doing for our products. So first you would choose Facebook, Pinterest, or TikTok ads that you want to be seeing. And then we will start with filters uh, from the right. So we can just select here and you select the one that you uh, prefer the most. It could be like a date of creation or whatever it may be. Uh, but most of the time, what you would search for or um, view, you would be the likes. But at the same time, if you view uh, this filter by likes, it's going to be uh, the area of high competition. So we don't really want to go to an area where it's fully competitive. So I would recommend just keeping it on last scene and we set up the other sort of filters. By the way, all of these filters are going to be after you search for your niche. So if you're selling toasters, you just type in toaster. Uh, and, you know, just after you type in the uh, niche that you are working on, that's when you actually apply the filters. Now, if you want to change this or not, it's going to be completely up to you but what i recommend is going to the filters on the left side this is going to be a more specific filter system which is going to give you more uh, detailed products or more uh, accurate results on what you want here we can set the dates so scene date first scene date last scene date creation date uh, but the most important few filters here are going to be the uh, if you want to use CTA here, also you can do that. But um, 
e-commerce platform is a very important one so this is going to be a product that is used on shopify woocommerce uh, or whatever e-commerce platform that it is on it's going to give you more uh, of an idea of a specific e-commerce platform and how well this product is doing in that area so for example if you're mainly using shopify go ahead and select shopify uh, and just click on apply now i think i will need to log in but it doesn't really matter it's just going to show you the products uh, so that's for the e-commerce platform again if you want to do call to action things like that you will also have uh, these options to choose from as filters and then we can do the languages languages is going to be for those who like their products actually matter in which language they are in so if that really is something that you're looking for, you can just select the language that you want. So that's another thing from filters. And now the likes that we just talked about, we don't want too much competition, like I said, from this filter, because this is going to give you just the best ones. Uh, in here, we, we can choose a few options, either low engagement. So if you want no competition at all, and I don't really recommend this, uh, we can also choose medium engagement and then high engagement so you can go for medium engagement and if you if you want to be more specific you can enter the minimum amount of likes like let's just say uh, 50 to a uh, thousand and then you can just hit apply and it's going to give you this result over here as filtering and it's going to be very very excellent and then you can also uh, specify comments, shares, and reactions. Reactions are things like, you know, wow, love, and all of those things from Facebook, uh, which just, you know, gives you another idea that people are loving this product. And then you can also do more uh, filtering here, here from targeting um, uh, uh, audience, so by age or sex. Uh, and then we can also use countries. So uh, if you want a product that is related more to a specific country and you want to see how well it is doing in a specific country you can also use this filter and then you can also do more in here if I missed anything same goes for Pinterest TikTok, and so so on so after you apply your filters uh, very simply you will find another list of products um, I would need to log in uh, and I'm not going to uh, but you will find a different list of products that should match the uh, filtering that we have just created uh, Now products adds four products uh, But anyway, what you can do now is find a specific one that you like for example this one for a cat litter You can just uh, first before you even click on it. You can see the likes comments and shares This one has 15k so you can like already know that it is a very good product people love it people are liking it so that already says uh, it's a green flag so we can just click on it and in here we've got a few options here you can obviously just watch the whole video first for yourself and then we can do see add post if we click on this is going to actually uh, open up your Facebook and is going to uh, direct you to this exact add post uh, and then we can also click on show more wh where we can read the description and obviously don't copy descriptions make sure that you write a very um, suitable description that is actually fitting to your product and describing it fully and then you will find more information for example the status it, it is running and then you, you will find the shop it is a Shopify which is interesting uh, we've got the language and then we've got running for created at uh, first scene last scene and then we'll also have the engagement so uh, from here we can actually find uh, a lot of information about the product and you can also find a link uh, because I'm not logged in is not going to show me uh, and also because I don't have credits uh, but if you do it's going to actually show you the link to the actual uh, product or uh, yeah to the actual product now that this this link right here that I just highlighted is um, from the description so it's not from mine but mine actually provides you with the link to the product so the point here is you will find plenty of products that you can just click on find and uh, you know like 
see more about them, see the engagement with them. Uh, but uh, that's pretty much uh, it. And you will also see links to sellers that sell the same thing within AliExpress. It's going to be right like the same area we'll find to see in post from uh, see at post here. You can find a list of people that are selling it for, uh, from AliExpress where you can, you know, filter things out and see for yourself. But then this is why I'm telling you, you like you can go without paying for this and you can also go ahead and pay for it. The difference is this saves you a lot of time, but you can also do it for free, uh, but it may take you more time because, for example, you find this product, right? What you would do instead of paying it for, for it for uh, credits, you can just find the name and then uh, copy it uh, in AliExpress and then do the whole rest of the process yourself and just do more information or research outside of mine. This is going to give you the base or the uh, foundation of the research and then you will need to do more unless you pay for it. If you pay for it, it's going to give you a lot more. Uh, same goes for products here. Uh, which is going to showcase like right away winning products without ads, without anything like here. And then you can also compare shops and so on. And you also get magic search, which is going to use uh, AI. So this is basically how you can use uh, Mina for free and find the winning products using these ads that we can see in front of us and then doing more research to actually find the winning product. So I hope this video kind of showed you how to do it and uh, helped you out. And that's pretty much it. I hope you liked this video and thanks for watching.